see for some of you you were accurate in your dreams when god shows you things they happen in the name of jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant i prophesy to you may your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood before give us this day our deliverance you go to god you say give us this day our deliverance you don't know the order jesus came to lazarus's tomb in john 11 41 he said i thank you oh father that you always hear me that you always hear me the moment he thanked him he thought he said lazarus come forth and the bible said he that was there came back you, to life because no. the protocol has been kept. it is that which god takes out of the pages and applies furnishes upon your heart that is yours faith is very personal faith is self-centered faith faith are you with me yes. that's how the fortune of job was restored it's a mystery you would think that a man who had gone to the lowest point in his life would never be able to rise again but by the mystery a man called jesse penny many of you know him a christian businessman he began to practice tithing and supernaturally god started opening opportunities for him and he rose to a, a point where his organization you would call it too big to fail and he said look i cannot be tithing hundreds of millions of dollars i mean it is it, too much and he stopped and everything was died and he came back to the scratch let me tell you don't play with spiritual love. They are older than you. When you play with spiritual love, it's like playing with fire. Whether you believe it or not, it will tear you into pieces and leave you there. There are people who have found peace with creation. It's like how elders do this. They call it appeasing the gods. So they pour small wine on the ground. They say this is for the gods. Or I take your own and leave us in peace. And it seems to work for them. Creation fights non titan Write it down. Creation fights non titan Creation fights non titan The curse of creation fights non titan Your spiritual exemption from the curse that is upon creation is bringing God's designated portion and bringing it with joy and bringing it with understanding. Hallelujah. The Bible says, verse 11. And I will what? Rebuke the devourer. The only place in scripture where God tells you, just calm down. I will take care of the devourer. Do you know who the devourer is? The devourer is a spirit. The devourer is a spirit. He is the one who is an envoy of the curse upon creation the devourer causes loss the devourer causes death the devourer causes mishap the devourer causes misfortune this is the ministry of the devourer whenever the curse is ready to catch up with you the devourer comes mysterious accidents mysterious failures inexplainable setbacks Circles of misfortune, the curse of creation is catching up with a man. How many rich people are living as if they are not working? They thought the, the secret is promotion. Then they got a job and it has not changed. You buy a new car. Somebody just goes out to test the car and returns back with two tires because the car scattered into nonsense. The moment they pay your arrears, five million, you fall sick. Your wife falls sick. The children fall sick. They keep treating them. When the money finishes, they are healed by themselves. The devourer. The devourer. Are you getting what I'm saying? You enter the exam hall and then you blank out and you come out. You are conducting tutorials for others. But you yourself will not be able to excel. It's not just fasting. It's not just prayer. It's not just deliverance in terms of casting out demons. I tell you the truth. See, listen, listen to me. 
You know why there are many people, before you lay hands on them, the demons fly out. They just went for retreat. As soon as one day, this guy, I left stroll out and allow this, this guy to just roam around and waste his time because they know that they have been authorized. See, you cannot destroy principalities. You can only dominate them. That's why the Bible says Christ is the head. Even Christ recognizes the presence of principalities. Are you blessed? He says, And he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Your ground is anywhere you plant. It could be your job. It could be whatever it is that you are doing. He says, Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before her time, saith the Lord of hosts. And then verse 12, the last verse says, All nations shall call you blessed. And it says, For ye shall become a delightsome land. The word delightsome is the word well favored. Is the word fortunate. Fortunate. Well favored. Right? Fortunate. So if I walk to this brother and say, Brother, take 10 naira and he collects, people say, Ah, you are lucky. No, you are not lucky. And then he goes outside. And another person says, are you so, 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 please come. I have something for you. Say, Kai, Ross, you are lucky. Oh. No, you are not lucky. You are at peace with creation. There is a mysterious, supernatural anointing upon you. A church that does not tithe, I guarantee you in the name of the Lord, they will struggle. Forget about dominion. Whether financially or everything. I know churches that threaten their members if you leave my church I will curse you better come and add to the numbers and they say people come and receive miracles and go and they move all around they are always broke they are always begging things are always not happening creation does not have any respect whether it's koinonia or whatever God himself spoke a curse who will revert the curse Listen, while you are seated or standing looking at me, this is the key to supernatural exemption from the vicissitudes of life. You want to survive in the Nigeria of today? Please exempt yourself from the nonsense that is killing people. Look at how high blood pressure is destroying people because creation has refused to obey them. Money! Come to me now! Say, are you joking? Does it happen just like that? It only happens... The creation will only hear your voice when God's portion is returned to Him. And so there are people, watch this, there are people that get up in the morning, brothers and sisters, before evening, there are untold blessings upon their lives. People go out of their way to favor them. A lady is moving around. You may think she's not as fine, but you see all the brothers who are praying for pursuing her, and they say, we are not embarrassed. Ah, there is an ointment. Ask Esther. There is an ointment. It does not just happen. It's a distinguishing anointing. It's an ability of the spirit that causes things to... The best way I can use it, I can describe it as fortune or good luck. Nothing just happens. There are no customers coming in my shop. I, I don't know. Let's paint the place green. You, play, you can paint it green, paint it red, paint it white, paint it blue. If you are a robber, creation fights you. The very soil upon which your shop is laid upon will fight you. Who is God speaking to? How many of our parents have refused to tithe? They have been working since they were 20 years. Many of them are old right now. But there is nothing about their lives that should for it. Please, let me tell you something. Pay attention to this. Don't fight the Bible. You will be a victim of it. Now watch this. How does tithing relate to the blessing in the New Testament? 
besides, let me tell you something. Tithing is not an Old Testament concept. It never came with the law. When the law was fulfilled and abolished, it was never part of it. Tithing is still relevant in the New Testament. Watch this. I want to share with you a very powerful mystery on how you activate the operation of the blessing in your life. Hebrews chapter 5. Adonai 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 You reign on earth Help me In your name We will rise Adonai You reign on earth The Bible in Hebrews chapter 5 begins to give us the high priestly ministry of Jesus. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 5 reveals Jesus now as our high priest. Are you getting the point now? The high priest of the church. Not just the second Adam alone. Not just the apostle of our faith. But the high priest. And then it starts by saying for every high priest verse 1 taken from among men is ordained for men in the things pertaining to God that they may both offer gifts and sacrifices for sin now go to verse 5 go to verse 5 we we'll read down to verse 7 it says so also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest watch this it says, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son. In other words, God did not elevate himself to a position of a high priest. It, I mean Jesus now, the Christ. It was God, the Father, who authorized him to function, to carry out that ministry. It says, today I have begotten you. Verse 6. As he said also in another place. Now watch this. He says, thou art what? A priest. How long? forever after the order of who remember we talked about that man melchizedek right melchizedek was a priest of the most high now the bible says jesus to the new testament believer is a high priest and he functions in the order of melchizedek what was melchizedek's function with abraham he received tithe and released the blessing that was all he did that was everything about his priestly office. He received tithe and released the blessings. He received tithe. So Christ in the office of Melchizedek, the moment you honor him with that designated portion, the same way Melchizedek blessed Abraham, he authorizes creation to start responding to you. The Bible says you are a priest forever. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? All that Melchizedek did because the Bible says he is after the order, meaning his function is in the similitude of Melchizedek. We never see Melchizedek doing anything except receiving God's designated portion and then activating the blessing on the giver. Christ himself awaits standing in the throne room for obedient believers. So the moment you bring his portion, he receives it as a high priest. Although you brought it to a church, although you gave it to a man of God, you are not sowing it. You are not doing favor. It's like you are answering a register and you stand before the throne and he receives it. And then he says, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And you come out and fortunes start happening and people start working against you mysteriously but consistently. This is the mystery of dominion. Christ has become our high priest after the order of Melchizedek. So a church that tithes takes God's designated portion and says, Lord, we know that in Nigeria there is trouble. People do not even honor churches. They don't honor men of God. They blackmail them. One little scandal and your ministry is dead. Lord, we do not want this before us. 
this is your designated portion. And the high priest receives it. And he says, Koinonia, possess your territory. Possess the heavens and the earth. And you were sitting in your room and something started moving you. I won't come for Koinonia, but you found yourself here. It's called the blessing. It's a mysterious operation of the Holy Spirit. How many lives, watch this, how many lives are under the yoke of the bondage of corruption? Some of you seated looking at me right now. You can't wait for next week. Oh God, miracle service, my bailout. I'm giving you a key. I'm giving you a powerful key. Tithing has nothing to do with money. Tithing has everything to do with dominion. Tithing activates the operation of the blessing. So creation begins to respond to you. You may be small, you may be illiterate, but creation will respond to you.